woke up this morning with money on my mind. Mm-hmm. I'm rush out, big man, I'm focused on your fine. Mm-hmm. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. Mm-hmm. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The real 10K squad back again with another Thoughts and Opinions video. Shabbat Travis checking in. And it's your girl, Queen Key, off in this thing. Before we get into this video, I want to say something. Yeah. If you come in our comment section telling us what Clarence said was okay, that's a lot of men say that all the time. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I, I just wanted to say that because this man did a whole disgusting thing at the end of his video. <laughs> but I, I've been seeing a lot of women been saying, all men say that. All men um are proud of that. So let's let's switch it. Let's switch it real quick. Okay. So when I had my I got all girls. What if um we was on a platform like Queen and Clarence and we were um known and I came on there and said, Damn, my daughter got a fat pussy. What y'all would have thought? Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. All wrong women say that. All women say that. See, see, but I, I want to break it down though. I want to say this. Okay. That this, shit is. Well, we never even told. Y'all know the title. But this video is about the response video that Clarence put out. Now, this is my thing though. What I want to break down to women is a lot of these women who and men who find nothing wrong with this and saying that all men say this. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is all men say what? Because we, okay, we are who are adults. And have come in contact, even if you don't have a child, you know, your sister or brother had a child or your uncle or auntie had a child, and you've probably changed the baby before. You know what I'm saying? Now, my thing is, if you change the baby, right? So, how is he blessed or well endowed or whatever you want to say the word? You know what I'm saying? How? A baby ain't even developed yet. First of all. You get what I'm saying, all right? Because what I'm saying is, what you see as a baby is not what you get as a 21-year-old. First of all, why the hell this nigga did a whole telling us about him changing his child? And and then he went into some creepy shit and said, when his child is 75 years then old, then then he got to change him. I'm still going to say then that. Then they said, if he gets to be 65 and he becomes sick, I'm still his father. I'll be wiping his butt and wiping his thing, and I'll be like, boy, my boy still packing. That's weird as fuck. Even your son will be like, Dad, what the fuck? You look if at your daddy got, If your child got sick at 21, and you still alive, and you well, and you living life, and you got to take care of your child. If you say some shit like that to him, he's going to be like, what the fuck hell? Name to him. That's like, if your son is 16, 17 years old and you happen to walk in the bathroom and he get out the shower and you say, but boy, boy, you're still packing, boy. Like, something wrong with that picture. Right. Like, you don't look at your kid in that manner. Period. That's not a, that's not a, I'm proud of you. His private parts is just that. His private parts. Now, as a baby, you you know you you wipe his butt and you clean him and all that. But what I'm trying to say, y'all ignorant for even saying that men think that way because what you get from a baby is not what you even get from an adult. You can't tell from a baby if he's gonna be well endowed First as a grown up. But even going farther than that, why the fuck do you want to tell that as a child? But you, as a baby. That's you know what I'm saying. But you can't if you could, if you wanted to. You know but what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, why you even thinking about that? Right. Like and, that shit was sick. And my thing is, for all you went, most, most of y'all gotta be single or have no children. Because I had, I had women in our comments like, yeah, my husband, he said the same thing. And, 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 and cause it's a, it's, a, it's a proud moment for a father. That's suspect. A proud moment for what? Like I just said, what if I said, oh, my daughter got a fat pussy? you like, what? What did you just say? Yo, perverted guys just said some shit like that. I would hope somebody would tell me some shit like that if I said something like that. 
and, 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 you don't say and, no shit like that about no child. And like I said, my thing is, even with him being, with him saying what he said, people make, you know, people make mistakes. People jump out the window and say something weird sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And that they wish they, on Twitter, because people like attention, people hit type and hit the button sometimes. And they wish they could take it back. So he'll almost get a pass from me for, for that. You know, like, okay, he said something out, out, out the way. He, he shouldn't have did it. But for all these groupy ass women who just want to goddamn ride the wave of Clarence and Queen, because that's all that shit is. He don't even, I'm going to be honest with you, he don't even get no pass from me for saying it at all because he said it because he thought that everybody was going to laugh with him. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying, though. I think he don't get a pass. What I'm saying is, it's more wrong for y'all to jump and ride the wave instead of telling motherfuckers when they wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas will never get it that they're wrong. If every time they do something wrong, you, he ain't doing that wrong. It wasn't that wrong. It was, yeah, everybody do that. No fuck everybody don't do that. Y'all lying like hell if y'all saying that y'all got motherfuckers in y'all families that's running around saying that shit. First of all, people in your family is looking at you like, what the hell? And don't let my son go over to that nigga house. Right. And don't let my daughter go over to that nigga house. Because I don't know what they got going on over there. It's like, it's just weird to even be thinking in that manner. It's weird. I, I don't care. Like, he was like, people say I'm weird. and That shit is weird. And then he was like, and for you to even say I'm disgusting. You're di you're disgusting. Look how you gotta say the word. You're disgusting. No, what's disgusting is the fact that you sitting up there walking around butt ass naked up under a robe in front of a child that's not even yours. That's disgusting. No, no, no. Even if it was your child, you still don't walk around your child under what's, no robe shit hanging out? butt ass naked. Niggas put on drawers. No. Under a robe, niggas have on boxes. No. What he said killed me with this one. He said he said watching dirty movies with your parents in the, or your mom in the other room that's disgusting. First but, of all. But wouldn't that be equivalent wouldn't that be equivalent watching a dirty movie with your mom in the other room wouldn't that be equivalent to fucking queen with your mom upstairs and you in the basement? Yeah. That, ain't this equal to that? Yeah, that's disgusting. And what's disgusting about what that what he said is the fact that you know you got children that watch you. Now that's disgusting. You play on the minds of children. That's disgusting. Like all this shit you said in this video, you got in your feelings about that disgusting word. Yeah. Oh, somehow he went in. It, it just it just made it. No, no, no. What killed me was when he was like, and then y'all was like. How you gonna how you gonna uh sexualize a one you are? Wait a minute, don't you tell me how old my son is. Don't tell me how you don't no, you can't don't tell I said, damn, why he got so emotional about somebody saying how old his son? Nigga, he is one, right? He is one, ain't he? You had like nigga lied and said he was three. He's one. What was so upsetting about that? Don't you tell me how old my son is. That's my son. It's like, what the hell? Like he got in his feelings, but sometimes it wasn't a reason to get in your feelings, bro. You should. It's sometimes you gotta just swallow your pride and take that smack on the hand and be like, you know what, I fucked up. And he said, and and he just should have came and said, I fucked up. I should never even said that. Not that because he said I I I shouldn't have said it on social media. If I would have kept it to myself, no nigga, you shouldn't have said it at well, all. It was, it was weird you to say it to yourself. It to you. you shouldn't have thought it at all. Yeah, it was really weird to think like, to yourself. You just should have came and said, you know what, I see where y'all coming from. I was wrong. But he didn't he didn't understand. It's pride. Pride pride hurts a person more than anything in the world. Because the the, the worst thing I hate is when a motherfucker can tell you. That's why I say I'd rather say I I rather feel like I said what the fuck I said than to come and tell somebody, Y'all know what? I'm sorry. But Anytime you put that butt in there, it almost make a motherfucker feel like well, he wasn't sorry then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry what I said, but this is what this is the reason. Because such and such, it's like, nigga, you wasn't sorry. You meant to say what you said. You just trying to goddamn smooth it over now. Mm -hmm. 
It's I don't know. I think to me personally, you could have kept the video because it was you made it worse. Yeah, you made it worse. You played with it, and you and you came off and said this wasn't no comedy um, video. I was coming to say what I said. You, you the thing, the whole thing. This dude just showed me he's way childish. He's so childish. That's what I'm trying to say. That's a whole kid. And mind wise, he's always got to throw shots. I don't understand it. Whenever he say something out of his mouth, he got to throw shots. Y'all yeah, know who he's throwing shots at. Like, this man is a... He, what he said, y'all a joke. He's a joke. Like, they really they really need some fucking damage control PR help over there. That, somebody please contact him and be like, look, I'm a, I'm a PR rep. Let me help y'all. Then he said, uh... And 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 all these vlogs and blogs are putting me up on here. Get your bag. I'm gonna get a bag too, but my bag gonna be bigger. Yeah, cause you get your bag off your off your girl. It's about the whole pandemic. It's a whole pandemic going around, and y'all worry about. Cause Clarence said his son got a big package. It's a whole pandemic going around. I hear, but you you tweeted some stupid shit like that. Now it's a whole pandemic when everybody get on you about it. What he thought was everybody was gonna be like, hell yeah, I not, that's right, that's right, and it didn't go that way. I, like I said, like I said and it still to me it still didn't go that way. Like I don't care what you say, there's no um reason he should have said that. Anybody would come. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. There's no justifying that. And that's why that's why I said how YouTube is. YouTube is in a bubble. And it's like people want to live in a perfect life, a perfect world on YouTube, and they're scared to, they scared to hear the truth. It just it, it trips me out just to see that, like nobody want to tell people the truth. Y'all ride these people away so much that y'all don't know ain't nothing wrong with what you said. Like you really attacking coming off? Ain't nothing wrong with what he said. Y'all crazy. It's like how many times have you personally heard that in your life? Somebody in your family said that. And don't don't give us no YouTube answer and make up no shit. Cause like I said, if somebody in my family going around saying some shit like that, I'm gonna feel some type of way. My kids is never going to this motherfucker house. Never. Ever. And in they like it. And it might even be what he said about my kid. He could say it about somebody else's kid. Yeah. If I heard he could have said it about his own child. If I heard that, mm -mm. yeah, that's a wrap. You you stay the fuck away from me. Cause you weird as fuck. Something wrong with you. That shit is sick. Because don't because nobody thinks no nobody in their right mind. I'm not saying nobody thinks that way. It could be a lot of people think that way. But nobody in their right mind thinks that way because you're proud. You're a proud father. That the shit you're proud of. Now the shit he named, I'm gonna be proud when he get his first girlfriend and proud when he learn how to ride a bike and proud when he Okay, yeah. But that's cause that's a part of that's a part of seeing your child grow and raising your child. Wonder if he got a big dick or not. They ain't gonna be proud. What the fuck are you? That's sexualized, and that's what that is, bro. Like you to my dad ain't no sex. Yes, the fuck it is. Because him growing up, having kids, having a wife, getting a good job, on his own business, one day, whatever the case. That's what you be proud of things like that. Whether he got a big or small tickets, you shouldn't give a care in the world about. Right. And what's sick about it is that he didn't understand that he was wrong. He still didn't get it. He still don't understand he was wrong. He's saying now, I shouldn't have tweeted it. Because everybody's saying you shouldn't have tweeted it. In the back of his mind, he's still like, well, what the And fuck at first he was cocky when he said, that's the first she told me to take it down. Yeah, because he, in his mind, he was really on some the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But by her tripping out, made him feel like, oh, damn, something, something was wrong. Because Queen don't never trip out about shit. So by her tripping, because they were attacking her, it made him kind of understand that, oh, damn, it was wrong. And you got to understand something. Now you feel kind of cocky because you do got some of these groupy-ass fans Riding your wave, talking about you ain't said nothing wrong. Sometimes you got to know what side of the fix to to to, to play on. Just because you got these group of motherfuckers over here telling you ain't said nothing wrong, and then you got 
200 people over here, but 10,000 people over here. Sometimes you got to look over there at the 10,000 and realize that these motherfuckers just groupies. Mm -hmm. I really did do wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm going to say this again. If that shit had been Chris that posted that shit, that man would still be... It still would be videos to this day made about that shit. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. Because everybody kept saying that... And Chris defended him. Chris said that uh, he didn't think that he meant it that way. I'm going to tell you like that right here. And I'm just being honest. I don't really feel that that's what Chris meant. Mm -hmm. I felt like I felt like he played a smart answer. And I'm going to tell you why. Because everybody, just like y'all do, run. when Clarence said that, everybody ran to Chris. Because y'all wanted to know what, what Chris what was his thoughts? about it. Being that Baby CJ was there. Because y'all wanted him to say some negative shit. And so y'all can drag him for that. And now y'all yeah, drag him for that. So what he did was he played a cool role, which it was still wrong to me because I wouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. He didn't have to say nothing. Yeah. I wouldn't have said anything. But him saying, shit, I don't really think he meant it like that. He played neutral shit. I would leave him alone. So y'all would leave him alone. Y'all wouldn't have nothing to drag him about. You know what I'm saying? But... And, and even if he and even if he really was trying to say off, you know what I'm saying, he might have felt like that. Whatever the case may be, but I don't give a damn. If he even if he if he felt like that, then he wrong the fuck to me. You know what I'm saying? If he felt like he really don't think he meant it like that, because how the, how else do you mean it? He explained to you that's what the fuck he meant. Right. He explained that is what he meant. He meant his son is packing to my men, men, legends. We out we, here. We out here. We outside. Like, what? The whole video, I was just shaking my head. I was no, like. No, no, no. But first of all, what I want to ask you is, what the fuck did they have to do with what he said? Yeah. Like, he, he just, said, he said, he just how found this, a way. How this started is, we was taking family pictures and we was putting up the behind the scene family pictures. And I had my robe on. And I had my robe on. And, 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 and you can see my little man sticking out. And um, shameless plug right here, but didn't they have on the same shit that Queen and um, Chris had on when they did their family pictures? Can't be original, huh, Queen? But anyway. uh, No shit, but she's always done this. The, the same pictures that, that her and Chris took have been taken. You know, he holding her up and all the same. She's taking all of the pictures. But still, but still though, still though, think about it. Queen and Chris did a white t-shirt and blue jeans photo shoot. Yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. And they had, didn't they have Queen's mama in it too? I think so, yeah. You can't be original. No, but she's not, what I'm saying is she's repeated every picture that she's taken with Chris. She's repeated those poses with Clarence. Mm -hmm. She's repeated those poses. Like I be in the I be in the thing, be like, hold on, then y'all take the same picture. I ain't posing like that. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not I'm not wearing this. You and Chris wore this. But, but anyway. But shameless plug. But what I'm saying is, it was, that was weird and creepy to me too. Because it was like you found a way to try to tell all the women that you was packing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To my He's talking about, and you know Queen was laughing because I was comfortable. I ain't care. No, no, no. He so, said, you know, he said Queen was tripping. But I wasn't because I ain't got nothing to hide. And he and he said about the video though. Yeah. He said because he was gonna leave that in there. Cause he wanted you to see his shit. But he said Queen was laughing because I didn't feel no type of way about it. Yeah, cause I ain't got nothing to hide. He wanted to leave that shit in there. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> because you have a bunch of little girls watching you. Yes, that is crap. First of all, that shit should have been I'm not even. A, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. A censor shouldn't even been put up. The whole shit should have been cut I'm, out. I'm gonna tell you something. I won't be surprised if he didn't purposely try to do it and Queen caught it. I won't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 really, like, it still didn't tell us what made you say that about legend. You still never told us because you said. The reason why I said that is because we were doing it behind the scenes and my thing was kind of showing. And it, but what does that have to do with you? So you your thing was showing, so you said to yourself, well, you big, so you thought about him and said he big too? That's like, right. you still never told us. So that was nothing but a plug to try to tell women that you that you packing. Mm-hmm. That's what that was. 
Nigga, you creepy. The because, shameless plug. But niggas, niggas, more little girls follow y'all than fucking women. Right. You creepy, dude. Right. He wants to be, he wants to be, um, how them people do Chris. Oh, Chris. He want people to do, oh, Clarence. They don't do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch Clarence. And it's a video. This, this is the first time I ever watched watch the, the Clarence, Clarence video. video. I swear to God. And y'all got to understand that. People are like, y'all say so y'all don't watch them. I do not watch a Clarence. Like, to be honest with you, I want to cut that motherfucker off. Like, because I don't watch. Clarence is boring as shit. Clarence is boring on Queen videos. Clarence is boring everywhere. I don't watch Clarence. So, I don't watch Queen. Like, Y'all be like, y'all say, and then y'all be like, why y'all don't do videos about sons up with Chris? You know why? I don't watch Chris. We don't watch Chris. Like, everything that we get is brought to us. So, when people are like, you didn't watch the, you didn't say nothing about the video when Chris did such and such and such, because I didn't see it. And y'all didn't bring it to us. And you didn't bring it to us until this video or the video we, we don't watch. I'm not watching Chris because Chris do a lot of, you know, he silly shit. Or be like the little, little balls he hang with and shit like that. I, that shit don't entertain me. I watch a lot of car videos. I watch music shit. And in sports, that's what I watch. If it ain't that, I'm not watching it. I don't watch YouTuber vlogs. Because mm -mm. I don't give a damn what you're doing on a daily basis. I don't. I don't. I don't even watch YouTube at all no more. I used to watch hair videos and stuff like that. I don't have time. So we do our videos strictly off what's brought to us. And people was trying to tell us what was going on in the video. So we had to watch the video because they were like, he was tripping. Yeah. And he was tripping he was. in this video. Like he, he, he was throwing a temper tantrum about that disgusting about that word. Because y'all call him disgusting. He didn't he like that. He threw a temper tantrum. He didn't like that disgusting. Mm. But anyway, we can't get on up out of here. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And remember what I said. If you are a woman and you come in this comment section talking about what I don't find nothing wrong with what he said and such and such, that's disgusting. You're disgusting. Mm -hmm. Straight up. But anyway, um, make sure you like, you comment, and you share this video. With that being said, we catch y'all on the next video. And you see, walking around with your bare feet, looking crusty, put some flip flops on. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm.